Hello folks, it's Kikoski here, and welcome back to Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. And when last we left off, we managed to get Barabbas out of the Foo Syndicate. Not before purging all of their files on vampires, though. Once we've done that, we warned Wang Ho about the fact that his life's in danger, and then we confronted Ming Zhao. That really didn't get us very far, and only made Helen angry. Now, after checking back in our haven and going to see the Anarchs, it's time to attend the Giovanni's little meetup. We're not invited, but we're going anyway. Where to? Just drive to the Giovanni stronghold. There's a little bit of information about them. And here we are. Nobody's batting an eye at the taxi. Thanks to all these really fancy vehicles. Now let's try and find a way in. There's you and you. There's a lot of guards. Perhaps we can get an invitation. Not from you. What about you two? Ah, oh, we can talk to you two. Yeah, what is it? Is this the Giovanni Mansion, by any chance? Giovanni? Oh yeah, here's the place. I haven't met you before. Are you a family member, member of the family? Yes, I am. Oh, persuasion. Is that right? A hell of a family to be born into or married into or both. You have an invitation with you? I think they are drunk. Yes, I've I've got it. I'll see you inside. Okay. That didn't work out. Yes, what is it? Is your wife okay? She'll be fine after I get a pot of coffee in her. If I were you, I'd worry about her embarrassing me. You don't want to make a scene in front of the Giovanni, do you? Well, she did pretty much cause the last function to come to a screeching halt. That woman has the self-control of a pubescent chimpanzee. You better hurry up. I think she's going to puke. Come on, Maria. We're going home. Uh, you puked blood! I think you need to go to the hospital. I you also dropped her invitations. I'll take both of them. Maria Rossellini's invitation and a Victor Rossellini's invitation. This is so you can get in regardless of if you are a male or female vampire. I think you might be a vampire. So you're just going to go over there. We have an invitation, so let's go in. Which one of you do I have to hand it to? You have invitation. Oh, I could also just pretend that I lost it. Sure, it's right. I thought it was right here. Oh, no, I must have lost it. Damn. No invitation. Can't go in. Apologies. Oh, well, well sorry. Here you go. I, I, I think I found it. Mm. Please have a wonderful time. Thank you. All right. I'm in. Ooh, this is a loading screen. More information about the 2 XP for getting in. Nice. Okay, my quest is now find the sarcophagus. Okay, can do. Hello. Totally meant to be here. Ooh, this is luxury. Decadence. Excess. Let's look around, shall we? See what we can find. No one seems to be stopping me. I am going to save, though, just in case someone does try to stop me. Don't want to get slain now. Okay, we have another door leading to. Oh! Ooh, lockpicking of ten. I can get into here. 
What's going on here? I think I'll be back later. And by later, I mean never. Okay, we have... Toilet here. Bunks here. More bunks, probably for all the guards. And this. Ooh, the kitchen! Just letting me walk around everywhere, aren't they? Nice laundry room. Probably can't go that way. Ah! The closet. Hmm. Could I break into this without you noticing me? Likely not, but I'm still going to try. Yep. Yeah, that is not a smart plan. Let's in fact load the game. Yeah, thought I couldn't. Only difficulty of nine, though. So I didn't even need to change armor for that one. Right, let's go to the other side. Hmm, probably a mirror. So over here we have, aha, more identical rooms. Not going to be doing very much in this wing, but still worth checking. Oh, it's locked. And in here we have... Sorry, wrong room. We're getting out of here! We do not want to be in there. And that's all that's here. Let's switch into our better armor. Have a look around. People just having a chat. There's you. Might as well be a costume party. Everyone's smiling, pretending this isn't a pageant put on by the patriarch of this family. Fine. But this is a contest, and I came to win. What are you talking about? If you don't even know about the contest, then you really don't have to worry about winning it. Maria, by the way. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Hmm. Mira. Mira Giovanni. So what exactly did you mean when you called this a contest? They gather us up here to decide just who's the best and brightest of this generation is. The lucky few are given the real power in this family. But some of us need to win more than others. Oh, forget it. You wouldn't understand. I'm very interested. Tell me more about the real power in the family. Ella wants to dig up some info. Maybe she can use it against the Giovanni at some point. Uncle Bruno. Since I was a kid, he's been the patriarch of this family. Except he hasn't aged today. I met with a senator from Massachusetts who asked me if I was related to Bruno Giovanni. Said Uncle Bruno helped him with his first campaign back in 1950. We've all heard the rumors. The core of our family, they never age. They're secretive. Whispers of blood magic and a kiss. Whatever it is, they pick the very best of us for it. I do anything to be picked. I've made some errors in judgment, but I've lobbied hard for this family's interests. Errors in judgment? For example? What? Forget it. I'm not saying anything about that. Even the best of us make mistakes. It's obviously set you on this path. I just met you. I like you. But I can't tell anyone. It's too personal. Sometimes you do things you regret. And if someone here found out, they'd use it to destroy my chances at the family ever letting me into their inner circle. You're not the only one with regrets, Mira. You couldn't possibly understand. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, okay. The first one is... I don't think she's gonna care. The second one... Eh, I think the fourth one might might work. I hit a jogger once and I kept on driving. Couldn't let it ruin the family, right? I did something because it made me feel alive. If you've never tasted it, you wouldn't understand. But a few months ago, I shared a hit with somebody I thought was clean. I tested positive last week. I understand. That's unfortunate. I won't have to worry about this disease if the family accepts me into the inner circle. 
I won't have to worry about a thing ever. I'm on a lot of politicians' Christmas card list, and this family knows I've swung a lot of votes for it. But there are two people at this party I know they had their eye on for a long time. One's Chris, my cousin. The other's Adam, who made Bruno a huge amount of money on tech investments a few years back. With him out of the running, they'd choose me. You want to make your relatives look bad? I'll spare no expense for a lock. I want to be in that circle of power, and I won't let blood get in the way. And of course, when your time comes, I'll pay back the favor. Oh, see what I can dig up. Okay, we have a little quest here. The Giovanni candidates are trying to displace each other. Why don't you help one of them a bit? Okay, so that's one person. Okay, you're not a candidate. Where are the other candidates? You look to be one of them. Are you one of them? You might be. Right, let's save. Let's see if we can find some more dirt. Fantastic party, huh? What? Oh, uh, sure. Something the matter? Family events. How many more of these do we have to attend before we're taken seriously? I mean, honestly. Yeah, really. They're pitting us against our own flesh and blood for the privilege of joining the power click. All you hear is, what have you done? How much did you make? Who do you know? You can't tell anyone anything, because they might use it against you. You mean, if you found dirt on the others, you wouldn't use it? The heart says no. But the businessman in me tells me to smear them into the ground. I guess I would. And I know they'd probably do the same. So, if I were to hear some gossip about other people, you'd be interested? Yeah, I guess I would. That's not all that's troubling you, though, is it? You can trust me. I don't even know who you are. I'm Chris Giovanni, by the way. I'm Maria. Maria Rossellini. Call me paranoid. But how do I know I can trust you? You seem decent. I've got a secret I've been afraid to tell people as well. You go first. If it's anything like mine, I'll tell you what's bothering me. Mmm. Okay, so which one of these is it? Not sure. Well, we use the... You used about hitting someone with a car on the first one. The top option there just doesn't seem like anything at all. The third one and the fourth one... Out of all of them, I think the second one seems to be the one that is the most distinct. I realized I'm an atheist. I renounced my Catholicism. Really? In this family, that's... That kind of thing can get you excommunicated if you're not careful. Well, all right. Do you want to know what's on my mind? I'll tell you. I found out a few months ago. My mother had an affair before I was born. Turns out my father isn't a Giovanni at all. My real father is this writer named Michael Avalon. If anyone found out, well, I might never rise up in this family. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. Enjoy the party. It's not that safe with me. And finally, you, sir. You're looking at me with suspicious eyes. Understandable, considering how tense this party is. Hey there, Adam Gunson. I don't think we've met. You are? Maria. Maria, pleasure to meet you. What line of work are you in? Ooh. Um. Uh, I'm an import exporter. Myself, I'm an investment banker. Great business, a lot of potential. For example, I got the inside track on this company right now. And let me tell you, when this company goes public, everyone's going to wish they had a piece of it. Oh. 
Then why don't you invest in it? Well, I know somebody at the company, and that's what they call insider trading. I could lose my job for that. Tell me more. Well, it's a biotech firm. You know they're working on growing replacement organs? Really fascinating technology. In a couple of years, I'd bet everyone will be going to them for parts. I figure an investment of $50,000 could be easily tripled in five years. You have much experience in this? How much did your last investments return? You take risks in this game. Sometimes you make a million, sometimes you lose a million. The economy changes. It's had problems lately, but it's bound to rocket back any week now. Hmm... Yeah, I'm seeing option two here, and I'm reading between the lines. You haven't been very successful lately, have you? Most people here, they've got cash they don't know what to do with. And if one of us falls on hard times, don't you think, as family, they're obligated to help them out? Besides, I get the kiss tonight. Everyone will be investing with me. In fact, if I could ensure my place at the grown-up table by, say, drawing some attention away from my financial shortcomings, I'd be guaranteed the kiss. Know any dirt about the others I could use? I can't pay you, but I got this watch and this ring. Hmm. Interesting. That is interesting. I'll see what I can find out. If I hear anything, I'll let you know. So I have three secrets here. I have three secrets. I could give each of you one secret each. But the Giovanni will pick someone eventually. Why not tip the scales for someone whose life literally depends upon it? Oh, hello again. I might have heard something about your family you might like to know. Yes. You'll be happy to know that Adam is completely broke. Adam broke? A few years ago they did an article on him in the business section. Hm. Money's practically more important than God to this family. I'll make sure Uncle Bruno somehow overhears this. Take this. It's more than Adam's worth. Got a hundred money. And I get some experience. Let's see what else I can find out. So that then has you ruined. What about you? You still interested in some gossip? Yeah, I guess I would. Ooh, you actually can't say anything to him anymore. Huh, I suppose it's all just going to you then. Oh, hello again. I have something else you'd like to know. Yes? You're like this. Chris is a Ridia Giovanni. His mother had an affair. And Cecilia had an affair? If Chris isn't really a Giovanni, it won't sit well at all with Bruno. So sorry, cousin. Here, these bills represent Chris's entire future. Spend them wisely. For your assistance, you can be certain that when I have my way, I'll bring you into the fold. If you wish, all I have to do is set the rumor mill in motion, and I'm as good as in. Excuse me. Okay. All right. We got a completed quest. We have a lot of exp. Oh, we have enough experience to increase our charisma. All the way to this, and we have Persuasion 10. Is it a waste? Probably. Am I doing it anyway? You bet I'm doing it. Now, how are you doing? I told you that in confidence. Rest assured, if I go down, I'm taking you with me. Oh, really? Get out of here. You're lucky I don't hit you. I believe you would break your hand, sir. He is standing tall, ready to fight, but, uh... Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work out for you. And when we come back, folks, it's time for us to search for... They are having an animated conversation over there. It's time to search for the Ankaran Sarcophagus. It's somewhere around here, but I don't know where. Problem is, how do we snoop around without getting in trouble? Hmm, you have to be careful, very subtle. I think I can do this though. Maybe. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe if you're not. And if you are subscribed, press that bell for those notifications. And I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.